Hey, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk about round robin events. So this is a very useful function that's there in Calendly. So where would you use it? Um, generally, this works with people with teams. Uh, for example, you've got a sales team of maybe 10 people, 20 people, but you want the system to automatically allocate bookings to each of these people. So you make use of the round robin function. So how do we gain access to the round robin function? Remember on the home page, we're still under the Yogi Delights uh, page. You click new event type. It will present you with a list of options and it's at the bottom, the round robin function. So there you go. You just click create. Now you have to add users because it's a team. Uh, so right now we're going to add Elizabeth. And then we're going to add Malvin. And all of these people are within that round robin team. So let's just say it's a sales um, meeting that a client wants to make with you for 15 minutes. So we give them that option. There's, here you can put your description or instructions that you'd want uh, the client to see before they book with you. Let's just choose a different color. And then we are done. So it's showing that there are three people, there are three hosts within this group. And we click next. Remember, you can pick anyone. You can pick a lesser number or you can actually add more people to this group. So under hosts and location, the round robin will determine how to distribute according to these two options. First, you can have it optimized for availability. This means that it looks only at the people who are available and allocates those people, any of those people. Under optimize for equal distribution, this usually works when you want everyone to have an equal amount of work. Uh, for example, you've got a sales team and they get commissions, so they really want to get an equal uh, opportunity. So you use equal distribution. It makes sure that everyone is equally distributed the work that they receive. So after doing that, in this case, I'll just choose optimize for availability. So these are your hosts. Now there is this function, which is quite good. It's called a priority function. You can actually assign priority to say, who do you pick first? For example, in this case, let's say we want to pick Elizabeth first, Malvin next, and Yogi Delights last. So we can give Elizabeth like a full, like a full star. And we give uh, Malvin maybe three quarters of a star. And we give Yogi Delights maybe the lowest rating that's there. So it will pick Elizabeth first, Malvin next, and Yogi Delights. Um, you can actually make a variation. You can actually give Malvin uh, a full star, which means it, alloc it allocates either of the two first before it allocates to Yogi Delights. So the next uh, function that you'd like to see here is the location, which is the usual one. You can pick anything you like. In this case, I want all of them to be accessible by Zoom. There is also an advanced section uh, that you'd want to access here. So when a person reschedules an event, you'd want to know who that person is going to be assigned to. So this is just a matter of, it depends on your situation. It can be reassigned through round robin or it can just go to the assigned original assigned host. So you can choose whatever you want there. And then you click next. Now it takes you to the availability section, which is named when can people book this event. On this section, the only different thing is here where the hosts are put. So you can edit the availability of each of the hosts. You can change their work schedules in this section. Once you do that, you go on and click next. Everything else functions the same way. After you do this, you are done. This is how you set up round-robin events. I'll see you in the next lesson.